My name is Matt Brembelow. I'm one of the research engineers here at the Institute. And a big part of my job is to look at how people are dying or being injured in real crashes, and then to think about how those kinds of crashes could be incorporated into our test program here at the VRC. So a few years ago, one of the big projects that I started working on was to look specifically at rollovers. There are a few reasons that it's important to have a strong roof in a rollover crash. The main one is just to keep the survival space, the occupant compartment, intact. You want to absorb the forces of the crash and the energy without having to deform the occupant space so that there's room inside for the restraints to do their job. Another reason it's important is a big part of the risk in a rollover is being ejected or thrown from the car as it's rolling. And if the roof stays in place, then the windshield and the side windows are more likely to stay in place as well and keep people in the vehicle. I'm Bo Jones. I'm a test engineer here at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Vehicle Research Center. One of my main responsibilities is operating and maintaining the roof crush machine. In our roof crush machine, we measure the strength of the roof of a vehicle. In order to do that, our machine uses these hydraulic cylinders to push a steel platen into one corner of the roof. We crush the roof through five inches, and during these five inches, the platen moves at a fairly slow rate of about an eighth of an inch per second. In that stroke, we measure the maximum force that it takes to crush the car through these load cells. The maximum force recorded is then divided by the vehicle weight in order to come up with a strength to weight ratio. In our system of ratings, a vehicle must be able to achieve a strength to weight ratio of four or greater in order to receive a good. Our test has made a huge difference in the roof strengths of vehicles that are on the road. As we came out with our test and we required four times the vehicle's weight for a good rating, manufacturers started redesigning their vehicles very quickly. And we've seen a huge jump in the number of vehicles that we rate as good for roof strength. The best kind of rollover crash, though, would be the one that you don't get into. And manufacturers today are required to install a system on their vehicles. It's called electronic stability control. And this system is able to reduce the chances of you losing control of your vehicle and getting in the kind of situation that might lead to a rollover. And what we've seen is that when you take ESC and combine it with a strong roof, better airbags and seatbelt designs, that the rate of people dying and being injured in rollovers has gone way down.